Well, I had a lot of people say to me uh, during this time, Dr. J, what do you think is going to happen after this is over? And of course, I don't know what they what they think I am. I tell them that I'm a not a prophet nor the son of the prophet, even though I have a prophet's name. <laughs> but um, the the thing I began to realize as I started to think through this, and I did this one night late at night. I was I was laying in bed thinking about it. How many times in the Bible it appears that God sheltered people. He took them aside. And I began to make a list of them, uh, like Noah and the ark and uh, David in Chaldea and all of the different things all through the Bible. Um, and then there's there's like 25 of them. Yeah. And I chose the most powerful ones and ended up with Almighty God sheltering his son in a tomb for three days. And he came out to bring salvation to the world. The interesting thing about all of this was Wherever there was a sheltering, the aftermath was something special, like wow. God sheltered Jonah in a whale, and when he came out, he went to Nineveh and preached the greatest revival that's recorded in history yeah. over and over again. That's what happened. So at the end of it, I said, I don't know what God's going to do, but I do know what he's done, and I think he might do it again. 